spend the gas tax. The House already has signed off on this and the Senate is expected to do the same tonight. Drivers we talk with are eagerly anticipating some lower prices. Channel 3 New London Bureau Chief Kevin Hogan is live with our mobile newsroom at the Shell Station in Norwich with some reaction. Hi Kevin. Hi Kara. Many people are just thrilled about the proposed drop in the state's uh, tax on gas, but you know they say they have a long commute and any savings will help. Nicole Morissette has a 70-mile round-trip commute each day. She says she has to fuel up at least twice a week at the Shell Station. Dropping the state tax on fuel, even for a few months, gives her a break. It's a great idea. Um, it'll help me because I drive a long way to work back and forth, so that'll help a lot. Yeah, anything will help compared to what we're paying right now. You know, I only get the, uh, the V8 right here, so I get about uh, 9 miles a gallon, so 25 cents per gallon. We'll take it. I think it's helpful. It's helpful to each and every household. And not just that, it's going to be helpful to small businesses as well. Singe Kausa has been operating the Shell station for the better part of 12 years. Although he's already paid the tax on the fuel on the ground, he won't get burned. Usually the circulation rate is very high. So in uh, two, three days, we can uh, get rid of the fuel we have in tank. As for people adjusting their lifestyle to compensate for the higher fuel prices at the pump. We haven't been going out as often as a family just to save money. Now one funny, one funny side note, Singe, the operator of the Shell station here, says as the prices went up to $4, he ran out of the number fours. He says he's got enough fives, though. Live with the Mobile News from Norwich, Kevin Hogan, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.